without you i guess you know here it's it's only when you come in or when your role as men are scientists coming that everybody is now sure okay fine this person has malaria hi guys welcome or welcome back again to my youtube channel if it is your first time here you're welcome my name is Bemi Olatunji and i make videos about my profession which is med lab science if you're interested in content like that definitely click the subscribe button as part of my family okay so um yeah i know a lot of you guys here i i on my channel i hear from my med lab science videos and a lot of you are either med lab scientists or med lab scientists in training okay or probably just thinking should i do med lab science um i know i've done videos about why you should be a med lab scientist i really portray the advantages of being a med lab scientist and the good side of as in the reasons why med lab science is such a great profession yes it is a great profession it's still going to be a very great profession it's a very good noble profession okay i'm never going to take that back but there are just some i feel there's some features that someone might have or there might be some reasons why med lab science might not just be the cause for you why you don't want to do med lab science okay like i said med lab science is going to be a good profession forever but there are just some peculiarities why some people might not want to do med lab science so if you're interested to know why maybe you should not study med lab science then definitely keep on watching the first point i'm going to be giving why you should not become a med lab scientist is if you want a patient relationship if you want to be um, very much involved in your patient's life med lab science might not really be the course or profession for you and i'll tell you why okay so if you know what the role of a med lab scientist you know that our role is just basically to come um, to analyze samples in order to aid diagnosis, you know, analyze samples to be able to um, to aid diagnosis here and to aid treatment and stuff like that. So this means that our role is basically in the lab. We test the samples like urine, blood, etc. To know, yeah, okay, this is what is wrong with this person, or to know, oh, this person has high blood sugar and stuff like that. So when patients come into the hospital, most of the time they are directed to the either the A and E or the outpatient um, ward, where they probably meet with a doctor and tell the doctor all their symptoms, and then yeah, the doctor is guessing, okay, could it be malaria from the symptoms? Could it be malaria? Could it be pregnancy? Could it be typhoid? You know. And when the doctor, the doctor obviously will want to confirm in order to aid diagnosis and treatment, the doctor will have to send the patient to the laboratory to run some tests so that nobody is just guessing because of based on symptoms so that we can be sure of what is really wrong with the patient. So yeah, that's, that's how it really works. And some of, most of the time, especially patients who have been admitted, who are on the ward, they don't obviously you can't expect that kind of patient to come to the lab so that you collect their sample most of the time the samples are collected on the ward the sample are collected on the ward and then they are sent maybe by the patient relative or by some of the um, maybe health assistants they are sent they send them to the lab so basically in the lab most of the time we just receive these samples we just collect the samples we don't even know who is who, but obviously we treat the samples like we are, treat, we are treating the patient. So we just collect the samples, run the test, and send out the results. So most of the time, it's also the patient relatives that come to get the results. We, most of the time, like I say, we don't really come in contact with the patients. Okay, we don't come in contact with them, or even when we do, we don't really have clinical talks with them. We just, okay, collect the sample, handle, um, run the test find out what's wrong with them and send them they go so i hope you get it okay if you're a med lab scientist you know that you're not really going to be clinically involved like maybe the nurses who literally take care of the doc the patients every day you know probably dress their wound and stuff or the doctor who you know you understand so if you really want that patient relate um want to be involved in your patient life then med lab science is not for you okay if you know that you are disgusted by samples okay you don't like to see blood you don't like to see sputum when i mean sputum i mean your spit saliva we work on those two you don't like to see um urine you don't like to see poo and some other kind of 
funny samples then MELAB is not for you because those are what you're going to be working on you're going to be analyzing those things you're going to have stool samples sent to you you're going to see different kind of stool okay and most of the time when you tell someone okay bring your stool for analysis they are going to fill up the universal bottle if you know that irritates you you might want to rethink because yeah even sometimes you go as far as sputum that's the spit you know you tell the patient to spit inside a bottle and sometimes they fill it up even though you might just need just little amount they fill it up you know stuff like that will actually be disgusting or sometimes there are some different types of urine that you see those kind of things can be disgusting if you know maybe you, you're just maybe not just that you're disgusted by them but you're allergic to them then you might want to stay out of the medical science profession the third reason um the third reason i'll be giving why you should not study med lab science is if you always want to have your weekend to yourself you always want to have your public or bank holidays to yourself then med lab science is not for you okay as a matter of fact the past i think the past for the past two years i've been on call duty on december 31st like on december 31st i have to be i had to be at work so i literally crossed over to the new year at work so if you're somebody who you always want to have your Saturday to yourself, you always want to have your night to yourself, then med lab science is not for you. Because if you're a med lab scientist, you will have to run calls. And by calls, you have to sleep in the hospitals on some days, you know, other days you might go 8 to 4, but there are some days where you have to go from 8 o'clock till 8 o'clock the next day and probably for the next 4-5 days, depending on how your hospital organizes and how the hospital um, runs their own calls okay you will have to sleep in the hospital so on saturdays you cannot go out for your girl's trip you can't go out for your um maybe your spa date and whatever because you're on duty you can't go for some occasions because you're on duty and some of the holidays like christmas um new year some of those special holidays you might also have to spend it at work so if you know you're somebody who does not just want that like that idea then med lab is also not for you and then the final point i'm going to be giving is that if you know you don't want to sit for any exam you don't want to sit for any professional exam you don't want to have to do oral um oral exams because in med lab science you don't just do your normal regular um school exam you also do your departmental you do professional exams and you do oral exams if you really don't vibe with all those things then you might want to consider changing your department from med lab science to any other course okay but now to end this video i'm going to say that med lab science is a very good course it's a very good profession even with all these things you might be all these things that i've listed but with time you just get to adjust honestly i myself i didn't even like the thoughts that i was going to be handling sputum i was going to be handling two samples i did not like that but with time i just got to get used to it now it's not much of a big deal i just um protect myself wear my gloves and i want to handle those samples and then that's it so i'm not this video is not to discourage you from doing med lab but i just really wanted to put out some things there you might not know initially when you're going for the course but if you know these things it will really help you to decide if you really want to do med lab, med lab science or not med lab science is a very good profession it, it helps you save lives of people okay because without you every other person in the healthcare system is only guessing okay you might say okay this person has symptoms like cough cata and whatnot oh it should be malaria this person is feeling it should be malaria without you they're guessing okay it's it's only when you come in or when you're role as a med lab scientist coming that everybody is now sure okay fine this person has malaria or this person is pregnant okay so you're a very big lifesaver if you're a med lab scientist it's a very good course so if you want to do it you know there are so many videos on my channel that's going to encourage you to become a med lab scientist okay thank you also so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye